mic check. 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 Mic. 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 check so today we're gonna to be talking about this new call it comes from Gillow Outdoors we're gonna break it down give you the aspects of what each part is what it does and then today we're gonna to work on a basic call called the quack seems kind of boring but when you look at duck calling every call is based around the quack. The quack's a beginner call. Not really a beginner call, but it's where you start. You gotta have a base before you start building. So, this call right here is called the Weekend Warrior. It runs about $24.99, give or take. You can buy it at Shoe Packs, as far as I know, maybe online. I know he's working on a website, but from Gillo Outdoors. Here's a little closer look at what a double reed duck call looks like. So there's two reeds in there. That's why they call it a double reed. This is your soundboard, your sound channel. And inside here is a tapered wedge. Tapered. So it slides into a snug fit in the perfect alignment with this soundboard. And there's a channel in there that allows the sound and air to move through. And then got your barrel, which you think they call it a mouthpiece, but the barrel sounds cooler. So slide that back together. Snug fit, not too tight. Doesn't have to be. There you go. All is polycarb. So the sound is going to be a little bit more high tone and not quite as deep. But you could really kind of use a lot of in inner air, you know, that warm air that you have to dig deep down into your stomach and kind of bring that up and you can you can get it to sound pretty pretty deep. Just sometimes I forget that I need to do that with this call. So the fundamentals of a quack. Well start with hand placement. You can see that or not. Hand placement goes right on the end of this insert, kind of in that little J of your hand, kind of like that. That way you can really, you know, deflect that noise just to help your your sound and your pitch. using your hand versus not using your hand. Now when you put your mouth on it, some people say, you know, like you're drinking out of a glass Coke bottle, you know, have a little sip, put it back there and kind of get your bottom lip underneath. But when it comes to calling the quack, there's a couple ways that people do it, but I think the proper way is to really use the bottom of your teeth and your tongue. And then you're kind of shutting that air off, you know, depending on how long you want to quack for. You know, and that'll kind of give you your sound. But don't forget, you gotta not blow your cheeks out, but more hot air down from your diaphragm. So quacks gonna sound something. So that's like a single quack, you know, just practice a single quack your first few times it's your first duck call. And 
and then once you start to master the quack you can kind of start throwing them together you throw five to eight to ten quacks together and it forms what they call a greeting call <laughs> Back of the call sounds similar to this. You can kind of hear that. That is the weekend warrior. There's not much really else to say, you know. That's a basic quack. Yeah. The quack. Durable. Whoa. Weekend warrior. Strong as duck hog in mine. Oh. On the money.